what's your message to parents if their daughter comes to them and says, uh, I feel like a boy or vice versa? It's not going to be easy, but you might have to go against the advice of, of your doctors. Because right now, most healthcare associations in the US are pushing transition as the only treatment for minors who present with gender dysphoria. Amazing. But the truth is that transitioning is never appropriate for kids. What is your message to eight-year-old Chloe or all the other eight-year-olds out there who felt the same way you felt years ago? What do you say to them? You are so much more than your body. Joining me now, someone who knows so much about this that he wrote a book about it called Gender Madness, Ali London. Ali, for the people who don't know your story, don't know who you are, what's your story? So I, like many young people today, struggled with a series of identity issues. Um, most of it actually stemmed from bullying. And, you know, I had issues with gender dysphoria and body dysmorphia as a teen. Um, and I was very basically severely impacted by that. So when I became an adult, I set out on this quest to try and alter myself completely beyond recognition. So I started undergoing um, surgery to try and give myself a confidence boost and make me feel happy. And I went down this very self-destructive path where I was just having surgery after surgery. I've had six nose surgeries, three eye surgeries, jaw surgery, and it wasn't enough. And everybody around me was telling me, it's because you're meant to be a woman, you're meant to be trans. This is why you're unhappy, Ollie. So, you know, I started listening to people around me. My TikTok algorithm was showing me so many happy trans people that had transitioned and they were living their lives. They were getting praise, they were getting love and validation. So, you know, I felt all those pressures and I thought, maybe these people are right. Maybe I am trapped in the wrong body. So that's when I started to change and I underwent uh, facial feminization surgery, which was basically changing the entire bone structure of my face. Um, my forehead bones, my jaw bones, my chin, everything um, to try and have a more feminine look. Ollie, while you, while you were going through all this and, and the, the bowling and the surgeries and the everything else, was there anyone in your life who stepped in, friends, family, who stepped in and tried to pull you the other direction? Did anyone, a doctor, did anyone step in and say, hey, uh, maybe this isn't for you, maybe this isn't the right way to go? Anybody? Yeah, so I actually had my family, every time I would do a surgery, they would try and stop me. They were very unhappy. And at the time, I was very headstrong because I had other people telling me, you need to be a woman, you need to be trans. So I was really, it was terrible, but I was really ignoring my family and I was ignoring those closest to me because I had these new friends and these new people that were saying, the reason you are struggling is because you're meant to be a woman. So, you know, I wish I would have listened to my family. They really did try to stop me. They wanted me to be happy with the way I was. Um, and, you know, I had all these outside influences, social media. I spent, you know, I was spending eight hours a day on TikTok, which made me feel pressured. And, um, you know, doctors go along with it because you're paying the doctors to do the procedures. So they don't care. They just go along with it. Good grief. TikTok. You brought up TikTok's algorithm and spending this time on TikTok. Explain what you're talking about. So TikTok um, has an AI algorithm. So it's very clever because it recognizes your preferences. It even kind of can see where your eyes are on the screen using the camera. So it's very kind of creepy. So it basically understands what insecurities you have, what you're thinking about. So let's say you're a teenager, 13 year old teenager. You may question your gender. You might watch a video of somebody talking about transition. If you watch the entire video for 30 seconds, TikTok remembers that. They'll start to slowly feed you more and more videos like that. So then over time, you see the same videos again and again. Change your gender. This is what you need to do. Go get hormones. Go get gender reassignment surgery. Um, and then it just keeps pushing this pressure and pressure and pressure because TikTok's job, they just want to keep you on the app. They want to sell advertising space. They just want to keep your attention on the app. So if they can see that you're getting hooked and transfixed on these gender ideology videos, they're going to continue to feed you more and more. Why detransition? What what turned you around? So I'd really reached breaking point. So I'd done a lot of surgeries. I'd struggled with identity for over a decade. And I still wasn't satisfied. So I had a choice uh, presented to me. I could continue going down this very self-destructive path where I was losing um, my family members. They were so unhappy with what I was doing. 
or I could wake up. Um, so I chose to wake up and I actually started going to church. I started finding um, you know, solace in uh, reading the Bible and speaking with people of the Christian community because I needed something positive. I needed something drastically different. And I wasn't going to church before I'd been atheist most of my life. Um, and my teenage years and I needed a change and I thought you know what that will help me give me some peace of mind let me reflect on my actions let me realize there's a broader problem going on here this is more than me just struggling with my identity this is millions of young people that are being told this is perfectly normal and this is perfectly okay so that was really the point when I realized look I need to uh, find myself I need to find the real me but I also need to try and be a beacon of light to help the millions of young people that are now being indoctrinated to change their gender who is behind all this? Why are people after young people? Why young people? If it would just stay with adults, I don't think there would have been much pushback at all, but they really are after young people through TikTok and other social media apps. Who's doing this? Who's behind this? Well, there's a variety of people behind this. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So there's over 100 pediatric clinics across the US, um, which posted record profits in 2022, over $2.2 billion. Oh. So you have the gender clinics have a vested interest because they want to get more and more teens through the door because they make a lot of money from that. Big Pharma, uh, these people will be lifelong customers. They need testosterone for life or estrogen treatments for life. And also these harmful hormones they also create other health conditions. Uh, it can lead to diabetes, bone density issues, bone cancers, uh, increased rate of heart attack. So these kids are going to be lifelong customers for Big Pharma. So you know, Big Pharma sets the game from this. We also have um, LGBT lobby groups like the Human Rights Campaign, who are very, very powerful and influential. They are going around to um, schools and hospitals and, and brands, um, you know, pushing them to become more woke and pushing them to push gender ideology onto younger and younger audiences. Um, and it's really harmful. And then, of course, you have the Biden administration who have basically Rachel Levine is in charge of this, pushing this. Rachel Levine is transgender. They want to normalize this. They want to push this. So it's a variety of people that are in power that are making money from this and lobby groups that are pushing this. And again, nobody would have really had an issue if they would have left the kids alone. Everybody would like, you know what, as long as you're living your life, leave women alone, leave kids alone, it's absolutely fine. But that's the real problem is now that they're targeting kids. Ollie, I applaud you, your bravery. Welcome to the light. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks.